You might like the movie Speed Racer. But here's a bunch of people that hated it. <laughs> Terrible, boring movie. What movie were you watching? Because that's one of the best climaxes I have ever seen from beginning to end perfect. But you know, I guess I don't like watching Sex in the City. <laughs> Rude. That got me late. <laughs> <laughs> what does Greg say about saying that's your biggest climax? <laughs> oh, snap. <laughs> yeah, his name is not Greg, but that's okay. <laughs> I've never met him. All right. This camera only records 20 minutes at a time. All right, go ahead. <laughs> Even though I hated this movie, things are so preposterous. Cars are killing each other, but the race is being broadcast to the whole world. No commas. Murder anybody? A father of Speed Racer picks up a man and spins him around and then throws him 10 feet against the wall. But why the special effects are worth it just to see them in the theater? That's why I am only giving it a two star rating. Ruth, would you like to say something? <laughs> All right, let's just talk about it real quick. Okay, guy, whoever said that. If you actually Robert. watch, Ro oh, Robert. Robert. Let's talk about this wow, real quick. he looks quick. like a youth pastor. Yeah, of course he does. Yeah. All right, so if you actually watch the original Speed Racer cartoon, get the out of my frame. Uh, <laughs> if you watch the original Speed Racer cartoon, that happens in the second to third episode that he spins and does that whole thing. This is how amazing this specific movie is, is the first half of the original series is actually in this movie. And that character does spin a dude over his head. So it's just trying to be specific and canon to the original IP. <laughs> Racer X, motherfucker! All right, everybody, if it's first time here, thanks for <laughs> <laughs> You love it. <laughs> You should not have given me alcohol. <laughs> this is fun, because I don't know what's going to happen. Yes. Crossing. An adaptation so revolting, it was impossible to finish the entire film. I just don't understand who thought this was a good idea. Even more puzzling is the choice of basic making the main character autistic. I'm not joking. Just about every character is shown to be autistic as well. And it's obvious and obviously intentional. This movie is offensive. Wow. Welcome to being in a world where you're the only person to be offended by Speed Racer. People are offended by actual things. This is where we've gone. This is August, August 5th, 2017. This is where we're at right now. People love Jesus. They love to be offended. What the f is that sound? My soul bursting at that <laughs> comment. Also, you were so offended that you didn't finish the film, and that's bullshit. Watch the whole movie before giving me some stupid ass review. That's just nonsense. Someone uses whole milk instead of soy in your latte and you get all f***ing pissed off like a douche ass. I hate hipsters! <laughs> a psychedelic road trip that paves the way for subsequent unemployment. Who's unemployment? Are you... Are you talking about the drivers? Like, who are you... Who's getting unemployed? Like, I was on board for the rest of this comment, but like... Even the monkey's working. Yeah, straight up. Like, do you, do you realize that people don't do this for free? Like, they, they film these movies and get paid for it. So, I don't, okay, anyways, but the rest of what you said was right. It is 100% a psychedelic road trip that paves the way to awesome. <laughs> Technicolor vomit. Watching it again right now as I write this. Anyone who likes this is a bastard. Bast is, is a, just because you watched the movie, suddenly you're <laughs> born out of wedlock? <laughs> also, Technicolor vomit is a Nyan cat. I guess it's more Technicolor diarrhea. <laughs> Man, the race were five stars, but the rest is crap. Man, your fucking grammar is shit. I understand that I understand accidentally missing spaces, but man, the race were five stars. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta admit that like the majority of this movie it's is great. a fucking race. Do you go to Fast and Furious for the acting? <laughs> bad choice. <laughs> bad, bad, bad game. Interesting visuals, but tonally jarring and totally vapid. What a waste of a great cast. I don't even know what movie you're watching because 
I don't, I don't know what was jarring. Was the monkey, is the monkey did it for you? Was that it? John Goodman is jarring to you? Like he is like the sunshine kid of Pixar and every other fucking movie, like. Pixar's also jarring. Is it though? Is it? <laughs> Despite the high budget, stellar cast and accomplished directors, this is one awful film. All flash, no substance. A 10 minute cartoon plot is stretched into a two hour plus waste of film. A 10 hour cartoon plot? This thing lasted f***ing episodes. Like, what, two seasons? <laughs> two seasons? At least? Two Internet, seasons. explain to him why he's wrong. Cause that's what you're good at. Internet. The epitome of a bad movie. Speed Racer ruins the reputation of the Wachowski brothers with its garbage effects. Stupid plot. The stupider characters who are dull and very unlikable, also to mention that the action scenes are terrible. Man, I just stopped taking you seriously at that you saying stupider characters. That's pretty that's pretty much where it ended for me there, buddy. Nice. Wachowski Brothers destroyed another classic. This is a terrible adaptation of a classic anime. This is why I hate American remakes of Japanese animes. Another classic? Like what are you even talking about? I'm so angry I can't even function right now. What you're trying to tell me, right, is that the Wachowski brothers have taken a lot of other Japanese classics and ruined them. But by the way, this is one of the best like anime, I, I'm done. This movie makes me want to go roadkill. I rather watch the cartoon. And I didn't say that in the accent that was in my head. <laughs> <laughs> What a tacky and visually irritating film. This is basically the Wachowski Spy Kids 3D. Damn! <laughs> I'm just picturing them being like, hey there, brother. Hey there, brother. You want to make some shitty Spy Kid movie? In 3D? In 3D? Well, f it. we do. But Spy Kids is taken. Let's do that stupid racing show with the monkey. It is so soulless and mindless and cartoonish that calling it stupid would almost sound like a compliment. The story is incoherent and the script is terrible. The Wachowskis always have a hard time writing believable, authentic dialogue. And the same goes to the character depth. I know it's supposed to be a visual feast, but most of the special and visual effects are incredibly dizzying and quite exhausting to look at. The only redeeming qualities are Christina Ricci and the score. By the, the only redeeming qualities are some hot chick and the fucking music. I'm out. Boring, shallow. Boring. Over two hours of shit. I feel like Wachowskis are, uh, they make a little bit more money to, uh, than film just shit. Like, I mean, but if anybody can film shit, they probably could do it and make it super interesting. But like, why did you have to repeat sh boring? Cause I'm already bored. Uh, was it even two hours? It's not. It's like, yeah, it's an hour and a half. What were you actually watching? A race. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, let's talk about, oh, let's talk about actual racing. So let's spend like five hours, it's like, oh, he turned left, he turned left again. I can't wait to see the end of this one, woo! And the Wachowski's directing sh yeah. This is the one. Yeah, like, ugh. Imagine nope. They can afford to take a two hour sh Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then they made Sense8 and blew my goddamn mind. I want to give it an extra something, but the movie was just bad. I mean, I wanted to give an extra something too, but she broke up with me. Hey! Oh. hey. Self-deprecating humor, yeah. Not sure what exactly it was, but I just could not get into this one. Too much done wrong. What makes you an authority? I mean, it seemed pretty accurate to, you know, remaking a fucking cartoon. How are you an authority on this Japanese cartoon, Laura? Your name is Laura. Kim would have been closer, but hopefully like Heroku or something like that so I can take you seriously. David M, one half star. Oh, you want this voice? Okay. I'm gonna read it in this voice now. By and large, movies based on video games get a bad rap. It's not a video game, it's an anime. <laughs> anyway, that's it. <laughs> and that's how I want every 900 call to go. <laughs> Hentai for the win. <laughs> oh. oh good, every word is capitalized. Speed Racer is a movie you will not like. The racing, the action, the cars, the cast, and the costumes are really just bad. Emile Hirsch and Matthew Fox were the only ones that did good. Speed Racer is one of the worst racing movies I've ever seen. It's not a goddamn racing movie. You're not watching 
Thunder whatever bullshit Tom yep. Cruise NASCAR yep. redneck uh, Confederate flag mm -hmm. bullshit. Words. <laughs> <laughs> that movie was called Days of Thunder, starring Hollywood's Tom Cruise. Although you got that incorrect, I do agree with you. Yeah, Brain you broke. broke. I just, I, I agree with you. I was just trying to help. A messy paint spill of special effects. Flat characters and reputation. Speed Racer is only enjoyable for 12 year olds. The rest of us will be left annoyed, surprisingly bored, and with migraines. Let me point out the fact that it was a cartoon. <laughs> it's supposed to be good for children. If you went without a childlike mind, you're a fucking idiot. And if you went and you were a child, you're one of the under 12 year old people that you're talking about, and that's who it's for. So, giant fuck off. All right, I got a little hot and bothered and aggressive, so I need to it's take my sweatshirt. It's hot and heavy. Hot and bothered is a different thing. No, right? no, I, I knew exactly what I said. Uh, I'm I trying know. to fix my hair right quick. I'm going to read this whole thing through, even though it's complete gibberish. <clears throat> wow, 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 wow. So, 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 so bad. Dreadful. Man, this is such an awful movie to watch. Warning. <laughs> There's loads of strobe. Why'd you stop my beat? Lighting effects throughout this movie. Man, this is such a terrible, dreadful movie to watch. It is such a complete dreadful movie to watch. Oh, I didn't know that the first time you said it. It is such a complete dreadful movie to watch. Warning, you have got to watch the end of the credits throughout this movie as something happens at the end of the credits throughout this movie. Man, this is such an awful, messy, messy, messy movie to watch. It is so, 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 so bad to watch. It is such an awful movie to watch. It's so, so, so bad. This is what happens when Little Wayne takes over Siri. <laughs> 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 This is one of the most relentless, stupid, idiotic, messy, head-aching, ridiculous, and downright awful monstrosities I've ever seen. Wait, are we talking about the last comment that she just read? <laughs> if you are nine years old or above, better stay away from- Are you f***ing kidding me again? It's for children! <laughs> okay, wait, 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 we have- wait, wait, everybody, we have a bet that supposedly when reading this comment, I'm gonna break in nine words. Oh, it's a- it's a paragraph again. But nine, uh, nine, specifically. At least it's not in all f***ing caps. I'm already gonna break in two words. A pathetic attempt at paying homage to the show while attempting to cash in on the Fast and Furious franchise. Speed Racer has nothing to offer outside of a flashy races and cars, even with that the film is so unmemorable, I forgot it even exists for a while. You f***ing wrote a comment about it! You know it exists! This is fun, isn't this fun? Come on, guys, this is fun, this is fun, this is, fun. This is great. It's Come great, on, I'm having a great yeah, time, yeah. it's great. Oh, no, it's good. It's, good. it's good, it's good, it's good, it's good. It's good, it's good. I want the last sentence, I missed the last sentence. The last sentence brings it home. Cause she just said that she forgot it even exists, right? So only recommended for Hardcore racing fans. <laughs> A cinematic migraine. You know, there was so much English being thrown out in the last like two minutes. I don't need to say anything else. <laughs> Why did the Wachowskis direct this? God damn it. Um, I don't know. I also have no way to ask them, but I'm assuming it involved money or passion. I'm hoping both. Too much unconvincing special effects to tolerate, plus the acting is a bit off. Unconvincing special effects, so do you, do you actually think that people can like fly on their cars? Like how does that work for you? Like when do you think it's convincing that people can do like this magical shit anyways? Do you anime bro? Do you even anime bro? Do you even well, hentai? Oh. Do, you even? do you hentai? Oh, do you? It's not always tentacles. I know. Oh, I've watched. There's a lot of tentacles. <laughs> <laughs> Bloated and painful to watch like I'm filled with tentacles. And demons. <laughs> <laughs> this church is weird. <laughs> Shirt. The 
this is a shirt you can actually buy. Boss Level 8 is not an actual church. A failed experiment in filmmaking. It's like being trapped inside a pinball machine. Although I agree with that, that sounds really fun to watch. And also, I would just like to point out that when people are like an experiment in filmmaking, unless you're making someone else's movie again, like that shit ass Vince Vaughn psycho movie, then, uh, then everything is an experiment in filmmaking because it's literally never been done before. It's not like you're some shit ass rapper who's just covering a future song and putting different lyrics on it and acting like you're just as good. <laughs> Uh, visually stunning, but a storyline that is just way too convoluted. The Wachowski brothers are just way too much comic book anime geeks to appeal to us relative normal people. So by the way, if you um, are going to watch a movie that's based on an anime, guess what the f what? It's gonna be about the anime! This not, is never funny, but I think it is. <laughs> Man, I can't decide how bad this movie is. My five-year-old likes it, my eight-year-old doesn't. So, for so many big names starring this, I was shocked at how poorly it fits together. Well, I mean, like, your five-year-old's fascinated by everything, and your eight-year-old is just at the age of an asshole. So, give it two years, and then you'll have a real answer. So, two years ago. <laughs> and 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 now they're both assholes. Oh, so that's what an acid trip is like. Thanks, Speed Racer. Yeah, it is. I don't know how to disagree with that. I think that you're being sarcastic by saying thanks, Speed Racer. But honestly, yeah, that was pretty similar. Unless it's like a really bad acid trip, and then that's that's more like that's more like Dragon Ball Evolution. <laughs> <laughs> We would very, very much like to thank our good friend Ruth Ann for being on this episode. That's me! Yes! You might recognize her as Bulma from Dragon Ball Z, Light of Hope. It's me, the, a Bulma. Yes, on the, on the Robot Underdog channel. It has like 90 billion views. You probably saw it, and if you didn't, you're an idiot for not watching it. If you want to see more of her, you can go to Geek Chic Promotions. She does really cool stuff. We actually went to one of her parties. It was super fun. I have a shirt. I have a shirt. He does. It's super freaking sweet. She's really? going to do more stuff with us. We're going to be all hanging out, doing other videos and things like that. If it's your first time here, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the little bell right next to it. Write down in the comments mm -hmm. if you thought these reviews were stupid. Let us know uh, if you like Speed Racer. If you don't like Speed Racer, or like, you know, let's get in a little war if you want down there. Let's nerd rage. Yes. If you want to see another video from us, click one of the ones on the screen. And until we see you guys next time, geek out and game on. <laughs>